So we have a little bit of an update in the JDAH situation as today was the day of the appeal. So if you don't know what's going on, there's already been a trial that happened last summer. Or was it spring? I can't quite remember. I did cover it. And JD lost. But there was a lot of really strange stuff that happened during that trial. And I've talked about it quite a bit. But I don't think he got a fair shake. Anybody that was following that, I think, has the same has the same conclusion that I've reached with that. But today was his chance, well, at least his team's chance to justify the reason on why we need to do this over. Now, there was no decision reached. We will find that out soon. But he had his team there. A.H. Well, no, not A.H., but The Sun, because this is him suing The Sun, which is a British newspaper. Uh, His trial against A.H., that's going to be sometime next year. They've delayed it again. So... uh, I don't know when that's going to finally hit. That's going to be a crazy trial when that happens, by the way. That's going to be a crazy trial. Anyone that followed this one and thought this one was revealing, wait to the next one because there's going to be more that comes out because now it's her on the line, not the sun. So, you know, there was a lot of bad stuff that happened from this. He pretty much lost all of his roles from this. And JD is for sure a victim here. And the biggest thing about this trial for me is men's rights. And, you know, anytime, anytime there's a guy that's been a victim in any kind of a situation like this, uh, this is what seems to happen. It gets thrown in their face, which is why a lot of these guys don't come forward when things happen to them in relationships. And, you know, it's not just this time. We've seen it in the Vic Mignogna case. Anyone that's followed that has seen it there, too. You can just levy accusations at people, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, They have to provide mountains of evidence, and if they don't show it, well, then they're in trouble. And that that case is something, something all of its own. But he had his day in court today. I think it went pretty good. I watched most of it. They actually had a live feed for it, and I was watching Tug's stream of it. It was up early. I missed like the first half hour, but I caught up at Nick Wallace's Twitter, which we'll go over. But the biggest thing that they focused on during this appeal was the charity lie. If you don't know what that is, uh, one of the biggest things with Amber Heard was she said, well, she wanted to be financially independent from Depp. She doesn't need his money. She was going to donate all of that money that she won in the settlement from the divorce to charity. She's going to donate it to a children's hospital. And then it was revealed that she didn't send that money to a children's hospital. There was a check, I believe, of $100,000. And I might be wrong on that number, but I believe it was $100,000. And that was it. They sent her something later saying, hey, uh, you're going to send the rest of that money or, you know, what's going on here? I know you promised and uh, she never sent it. Now, the defense says, oh, she was for sure going to send that money there. Uh, she was going to she's going to send it. She's still going to send it, even though it's been years. Imagine that they, they keep doubling down on this. Well, she was for sure going to send the money still. And it's been years. You know, she still hasn't sent the money, by the way. (laughs) Like, what's stopping you from sending this money now? Well, I'll tell you what's stopping her from sending the money. She wants to keep it for herself. Now, Depp's team is alleging that she's a gold digger. That's the the thing that they're doing. And I I think that's true. She obviously got with him for clout. And it seems to have paid off for her, hasn't it? Uh, Unless she really is fired from Aquaman, too. But I don't know yet. There's claims that she is, and no one still has officially come out. I find it interesting that Warner Brothers hasn't officially nixed that rumor. All they'd have to do is release something to say that she's still a part of Aquaman 2. They haven't really shit. So I'm still leaning towards, I think she got canned from it, and they're just being quiet because they don't want to deal with the backlash from the woke mob on Twitter. 
But this was the big defense, and, and I think it's a good one. Um, she she lied. She's never going to send that money. She's never going to send that money. So this is the reason that this works is it proves she it proves she lied, and it proves that they need to redo this trial, and hopefully get a better judge who ignored a lot of stuff. I mean, that judge like jumped on. Even she admitted that she started a bunch of fights. But he never acknowledged that. He almost ignored it. Another funny thing is that the media has totally ignored uh, the gold digger stuff. The fact that she never sent that money. None of these sites that smeared JD have touched that. They don't talk about it at all. Which I guess shouldn't surprise anybody that follows this channel, right? Now what was funny that I got a good chuckle out of was when the son, the son's trial or the son's lawyers, or whatever you call English lawyers. They have some other name over there. The Whigs are funny, too. I'm, I'm sorry for any of my English fans. <laughs> the, the Whigs are funny. Why do they still wear wigs? You know, the only reason they wore wigs back in the day was to, to stop to fight lice. So I, it's all good. Listen, I, I don't mean to offend anybody. If, if, if that's, you know, how it is there, it's fine. I'm just having a little fun. Uh, but they stood up, and they said... Uh, it's a misogynistic trope to call uh, her a gold digger. They literally went with a Twitter defense, which I got a huge kick out of. I thought that was damn hilarious. Uh, Nick Wallace here does a really good job covering uh, this stuff. He's been covering it for a long time. And uh, <laughs> yes, I, I got a real kick out of that. So that was towards the end of it. They took a little break after... The Suns team did a defense. They came back, and they said there's not going to be a decision today. They will hand it down in writing when it comes. Now, how long until we get that? I don't know. Uh, this is what they said. Uh, AC, and we say, of course, it would case law, e.g. AC, if the form, the v if you form the view that JD was responsible for all of this in the confidential judgment, wouldn't that be the beginning and the end of this of his credibility if we are right that it was a questionable finding that should be of real concern to the court? Jay, I think that's judge. We are not going to reach a decision today. It will be handed down in writing soon. I don't think there's anything else that we need to say. Thank you. Court rises, feed stops, and that was it. So there's no decision coming today. I don't know when it will come. I would imagine probably by Monday or Tuesday we should have an answer to this. Um, and this is it. So if they let it go forward, we get a redo. If not, then, uh, you know, that sucks. And he really got the shaft in England. And then we just wait on the Virginia trial. And that probably won't be till next year. So. The quest for justice for Depp continues. Anyway, that's it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out.